Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update for June 5th. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, Dan, let's start with you. It was a, uh, a really interesting week, a very surprising jobs report this morning for the month of May. Why don't you tell us uh, what we learned and uh, what the markets respond? Yeah, to, to say that this morning's employment number was a, a surprise is a huge understatement. Um, market participants had expected a job loss total in the neighborhood of about seven and a half million jobs. Um, and the actual total came in plus two and a half million. So a swing of almost 10 million from expectations. Um, and while there's clearly some uh, pressure, so, some noise in those numbers, um, the reality is, uh, and, and certainly given by the reaction of the stock market, which is currently up over a thousand points, the bond market where the 10 year treasury broke out of the 70 to 60 basis point range, currently trading at 91 basis points, and the long bond off uh, two points uh, certainly shows that there is some validity in the rebound here and in the prospect that we could be looking at a V-shaped recovery versus some of the other uh, scenarios people have been laying out. So now the question obviously for the market is how, uh, what kind of legs will this, this latest move have after a really strong rally in yields over the last couple of weeks uh, and increasing uh, investor interest in unis? Is that, that a fair way to put it? Sure, and, and, and this week we saw uh, cash inflows into the mutual, uh, muni mutual funds of over a billion two, um, continuing a streak of, uh, or trend that we've seen in, in recent weeks. Um, but the question muni market participants are really looking at here um, is, is really twofold, one of which is um, what, what happens with the continuation of interest rates and does uh, do muni market investors uh, become concerned about the prospect of rising interest rates and the resulting price uh, deterioration associated with that? Um, and on the other side of the coin is, uh, does a recovery here uh, uh, alleviate some of the credit concerns that maybe some, uh, some, some in the marketplace have been concerned about? And the other thing to watch, of course, is whether the uh, perception of an improved outlook for the economy changes the uh, dynamics and the probabilities of another round of stimulus out of Washington. Uh, the next round was intended to help state and local governments or was expected to help state and local governments directly. And now there's some quotes today that that might be at, uh, at risk because of the uh, evidence that the economy is recovering faster. Sure. And there were, the uh, House had passed a $3 trillion additional stimulus. There's a, there was speculation that there could be as much as $500 billion of additional stimulus uh, to the states. You know, does, does this uh, quicker recovery or, or the appearance of the quicker recovery uh, result in, uh, uh, you know, less, less odds of that being passed? So, Brian, let's turn to you and talk about the new issue market. Obviously, we're going to be talking about two very different markets the, the past week, which uh, was strong. Uh, we also have a good calendar for next week. Uh, what did you see? Uh, let's start with the deals that are already priced. Yeah, this week, uh, you know, in the heels of everything going on, uh, Muni's outperformed with rates kind of staying flat throughout the week uh, before today. So a lot of deals were able to get into the market. We saw the heaviest new issue supply that we've seen probably since about February. Uh, around mid-February, we saw north of $12 billion priced on the new issue side when you include the corporate QCIPs that came to market. Uh, so a really, uh, really robust um, uh, activity, and that included a fair amount of deals coming off of uh, some of the day-to-day -day pipeline that's been, that's been sitting there ready to go, including some larger ones like Great Lakes Water Authority and things like that. Um, so with more than $12 billion priced, it was very active. Uh, on the taxable side, another uh, sign of improvements uh, with uh, over $5 billion, again, including the corporate QCIPs that got done. So from a percentage standpoint, we continue to see progress in that space with, uh, with taxable spreads uh, continuing to tighten up a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, we saw a very strong continued activity uh, on the insured side. Uh, BAM priced about $370 million. Uh, we probably expect uh, insured penetration to be right around 10% uh, or so. Uh, so there was a lot of insured activity across the board. Um, you know, again, we saw taxable bonds uh, like Pajaro Valley USD in California, Hot Springs, Arkansas, uh, uh, and also uh, Belvedere School District in Illinois. Uh, so a lot of activity across the board. Um, and we expect that to continue next week. Uh, right now, uh, assuming things go to plan, there's another $12 billion or so that's scheduled to price. We're expecting another heavy week volume-wise um, with probably about $350 uh, million or so of BAM-insured paper. Um, 
some of the larger deals that are expected to price are uh, 113 million for Birmingham Airport in Alabama. We've also got uh, about 92 million across various series for Valverde USD in California, and then a $47 million deal for uh, Davy Water and Sewer in Florida. So again, continued activity uh, with the market uh, picking up pace um, heading into uh, heading into the summer. And of course, viewers who subscribe to BAM's YouTube page can watch for updates next week. We'll be hosting a couple of Credit Insights videos on some of those larger transactions, giving our underwriters a chance to talk in more depth about the credit. So just subscribe by using the link above. And uh, we'll see you next week with our next weekly update. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption, like the one we're experiencing right now. BAM. Build America Mutual. Ask your broker about BAM insured municipal bonds.